What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Real Talk and I'm here with another review for you guys today and that's for Atomic Blonde. Check it out. Ready for action. guys so the film stars Charlize Theron, James McAvoy, John Goodman, Toby Jones and Sofia Batella and it's directed by David Leach and he directed uh, well he was one of the directors for uh, John Wick and so everybody was trying to compare this to you know this is the female version of John Wick and stuff like that and uh, for the most part it is but you know what something's missing as always guys I like to start off with my negatives and the first one I want to mention is that very few movies are able to pull this off and that um, what I mean is like you have this character kind of getting like interrogated or you know interviewed or whatever uh and you know they, they you know they go back to the events that happened you know and kind of have that uh, type of timeline and um this movie did that and i felt like it would have been better off if it didn't do that obviously you take away the suspense of it but i feel like it would have been a better story just told you know like a normal uh from like one two three like it, hitting those notes you know uh, so I feel like it suffered from that and uh, it could have done uh, a better job in presenting the story and the narrative. With these type of movies, guys, you know, you don't really expect to get a lot of, you know, fleshed out characters and stuff like that because it's an action movie. Uh, but, you know, with the main character, you, you do expect to have like some sort of connection and like some sort of, uh, you know, development there. And with this one, I feel like it doesn't really do that. It does in some parts and you're always on the verge of like learning more, but you don't really, you know learn a lot from her so i felt like that was a little bit you know kind of they could have do, done better in that aspect because then you could have cared about the character a little bit more and uh it's always nice to have some characterization especially if your main character uh so i feel like she wasn't really fleshed out and uh yeah they could have done better the soundtrack to this movie guys is great and i'm going to be talking about that a little bit more in my uh positives but you know it, you know because it takes place in the 80s who doesn't like 80s songs but um i feel like you know, when you have movies like Baby Driver and Guardians of the Galaxy, where they use the, the soundtracks at the right moments and, you know, in the right way, especially Baby Driver, um, you're expecting, like, movies, because uh, this movie, I'm going to talk about this in my positives as well, it has a very unique style to it, but I feel like musically and the music soundtracks, you know, it, they could have done a, a way better job in utilizing those uh, songs. They're kind of just, like, random, and I don't want to say they, they tried, but I don't know, I just didn't feel like... It was well done, uh, but there are great songs nonetheless, so there's that. <laughs> Going out with my positives, guys, I have to mention uh, Shirley Saran. She does an amazing job, you know, portraying this character because uh, she does the fight scenes well. I think it's actually really her, you know, uh, there's a lot of videos online of like the making of and, you know, you see her training and stuff like that. And, and I, could, I think it is her because it looks so goddamn real. Uh, but she does an amazing job in embodying this character. Again, I would have liked to see a little bit more... Um, from her like her character but it's because she does a, a, such a good job like portraying her like this badass character so um and james mcavoy of course uh i wouldn't say he's as groundbreaking as he was in split but uh i always love seeing him pop up in, in you know these like smaller side roles and like the side characters he did a great job uh john goodwin and toby jones are in this as well they're not in it a lot and they don't really have a lot to do but uh you can't deny that they're great <laughs> and uh john goodman man just brings this sort of like gravitas to every like role he is he's in so um that's always great to see and i keep mentioning this guys the action and the fighting in this movie is phenomenal obviously the director did john wick not sure if he did john wick 2 i think it was just one of them that returned for the second one uh but man obviously if you've seen john wick you know that th there's just amazing gunfights and, and fight scenes and stuff like that there's this whole fight uh like i don't know if it was like five minutes of like it, there's this one shot and with no takes uh no takes but like no cuts and uh where she's fighting these two guys and like in the stairwells and stuff like that man that's was an amazing thing to watch so obviously i have to mention this in my positives uh the gunfights and the fighting and the um choreography for this were really well done and obviously going off that you know the cinematography and i feel like um the whole visual aspect of the movie was really well done. There's some good, good shots. And I guess I can mention the visuals as well. 
uh, I mean the style of this movie because like I said before this movie does bring a sort uh, some sort of a style to this like the way it's shot with the soundtrack and stuff like that uh, you can see that the director was going for some kind of style and he I think he was able to accomplish that so uh, good job on him so overall guys I really like the movie um, I had a good time at the movies but I feel like it could have just been way better maybe it was my expectations were set so high um, so I think maybe that's the reason why I went along with the negatives. Uh, so with that being said, guys, I have to give Atomic Blonde a 6.5 out of 10. Uh, I recommend to go see it if you, you know, want it like some sort of like John Wick type of film. Uh, there's amazing fight scenes. It, uh, it looks great. Charlize Theron and James McAvoy are great in it. Uh, so if you are looking for a, a good time at the movies, I say go watch it. All right, guys. So let me know your thoughts on the film. If you've seen it in the comment section down below, uh, be on the lookout this weekend. I might see the Emoji movie. I might. But one movie I am going to go see is uh, A Ghost Story. So I'm going to be bringing you the review for that tomorrow. So ch uh, stay tuned for that. And as always, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Real Talk. Talk, talk with two K's and as always I'll see you at the movies. Later guys. Reach out,